Welcome back to Just Scribble. I'm so excited. My order from VDS came with my two new custom covers and I cannot wait to open these up, check them out and share them with you guys. Before we get into it, I do wanna say that everyone is home. They are in the other room, they are watching TV. So there could be some background noise and I apologize. The way my studio is designed, one end of my studio is open, like it doesn't have doors. So the sound kind of picks up sometimes. Although I do plan on moving some things around so that I'm filming on the other end of the room. That way there will be less background noise. I had time to move my studio stuff around and I wanna open my cover. So I apologize if you can hear movies or TV or whatever it is that they're doing in the other room in the background because I wanna open these up and I wanna do it with you. So I did get my little card that says, hi, I'm your new VDS planner, has their logo and their website on the back. I will have that down in the description box down below. And then I do have some samples and I'm really excited because they sent me a sample of the July leather. So let's open these first. All right, so these are the samples that I have. The first one is JL Papora. It reminds me a lot of Barbie pink or bubblegum pink. It's so pretty and it's Janet leather, so it will patina and change over time. The next one I have is Nubuck Cyclade. I think this color is so pretty. I'm not usually into blue covers, but oh, it's so pretty. I think this would be beautiful as an inside to a cover combined with something neutral on the outside. Next, I have JL Rosa, which is this beautiful peach color. Then I have Cyclamen. I don't know, I don't remember what leather this is. It's a beautiful sort of raspberry color. Then I have the Nubuck Terre. I think it's pronounced that way. I think it's French for earth. I'm not exactly sure, but this is actually the leather that one of my covers is in and I ordered it sight unseen. And well, I did see it like in photos, but I hadn't seen it in person and I hadn't touched it and felt it. And I'm even more excited now. It's this beautiful sort of milk chocolate brown color. Let me see if I have a piece of white paper. I think the color will show up a little bit better against that, but it's this beautiful sort of chocolate brown color with a little bit of a purple undertone and oh, it's so pretty. And then I have lavender and this is a touch me leather. This one might be as well, it feels like it. I think both of these are touch me. And then this is Nubuck and the blue is Nubuck. So they're like a suede kind of, and they're water resistant and they don't generally stain too badly other than like oils. So you can treat it if you want to, but you don't have to. And then you can use a Nubuck eraser to brush some like stains and marks out of them if they get marked up. And then these two are Janet leather. So those are the samples that I had ordered. I think they look really pretty together. It's just a pretty little assortment of colors. So those are what I ordered, but they also sent me this. This is a complimentary sample to introduce the July leather of the month, which is the Nubuck Myrtle. And I'm super excited about this because I ordered a cover in this leather already. I couldn't help myself. This pink, I don't know, there's just something about it. I could not not order it. I had actually planned on ordering something in Papora in the future, but when I saw this and just how bright and happy and just, oh, just gorgeous, I had to order it. And I really liked the idea that it was Nubuck. And so this is the color of my next cover. And this was ordered on their 10 day accelerated um, ordering. So I will have it a lot faster. These took six weeks. This will take 10 days. Well, 10 days to make and then ship to me six weeks to make and then ship to me. But that's my samples. And here are my two new covers. So the first time I ordered from BDS was May of 2022. And I ordered two custom covers, an A5 and a Passport, both very, very customized. I have 
two videos on those, my initial unboxing and then detailed videos on the customizations that I did. So I'll link those in the cards up above. And then in May of 2024, two full years later, I ordered my second two customs. I had been wanting to order this one for a while, just kind of figuring out exactly what I wanted. And then this one was the Terry, which was the leather of the month. I just had to order it. So I decided on a size for that and I ordered that as well. I have ordered a couple other VDS covers in the interim, but they have been ready to ship covers. And then I do have some I have bought pre-loved but these are my third and fourth customs. And then of course I have the fifth coming and I have another one planned in the future, but I wanna make sure that it's exactly perfect. So it'll be a while before I order that. So this does have some extra elastic. I'm not gonna open that, I'm gonna set it aside. I don't know which one to open first. So this is passport size and this is standard size. I think we're gonna open this one first. And I will talk to you a little bit about the customizations, but I think what I'm gonna do is the same thing as I did last time. I think I'm gonna unbox them, talk to you a little bit about what I did to them, share them, and then do a separate detailed video where I go through like all of the specifics. I'll put all the specifics down in the description box down below as well, but I think, I think we'll go through like super detailed in the next video or like in a separate video. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh. This one, oops. This one also came with extra elastic because these are both nomads, which is their traveler's notebook style. So this is Tere, which was the May Nubuck. And I don't know, there was just something about this color that I thought was so pretty and so striking. Oh, it's just gorgeous so this is a passport nomad and i opted to get it with the elastic closure because i wanted it to be really slim and compact and i already have a passport that's very customized from vds that has a snap closure and so i decided it would be nice to get one with elastics as well i do change out my elastic most of the time into something more fun so i'll probably take this elastic off and change it out so when i do that second video you'll see it with the other elastic but this is my Nomad. I did not change the dimensions at all. This is the new Bacteri. And then I did choose a light purple. I have to pull the name and put it down below in the description box. But I did use a light purple stitching, which will probably be hard to see on camera. But I wanted just a little bit of a contrast. I didn't want it to be super dramatic, but I wanted a little bit of contrast. Oh, this is so soft and look at the texture. Oh, it's so pretty. So I have the light purple stitching and I only did a couple of customizations to this one. So the first thing I did was swap these pockets. So the way that it's designed is that this is a slip pocket in the front, but it has these card pockets over here. And this is a secretarial pocket on the back, but it has this small pocket over here. I had it switched. So I had the small pocket put in the front on the slip pocket. I left the secretarial pocket on the back, but I had the card pockets put back there. And I did that so that I would have a cute little spot that I could put deco, or I could put little sticky notes or something like that in the front. And then I could keep an ID or my debit card or what have you in the back. It just felt safer having the cards in the back here than in the front. So anytime I open it, my inserts are gonna be here. So let's put in a couple of inserts just so we can see how it looks. Maybe I won't do a second video. Maybe I'll remember all the customizations. That's the reason I was gonna do a second one because I didn't know if I would remember. Or maybe I'll do this one and then when I do a setup, we'll do a second video. But if I put my inserts in, and I'm just picking some random ones that I had sitting around, it does have four elastics on two holes. So you could put two inserts, four inserts, three inserts, however many you want. But when I open my passport cover, my cards are back here like tucked behind the inserts so it felt safer to me they're tucked in facing inwards so they're not going to fall out and they're sort of protected and hidden and then this gives me a functional or deco space so the first customization i did was just switching which pockets were on which side but leaving the secretarial and the slip pocket the way that it defaults the next thing i did was move the pen loop so i moved the pen loop from this side to this side and I did that also for two reasons. One was because I was putting the card pockets over here. And so if I left the pen loop over here, it would be up here. Which isn't too terribly different from this placement, but it would be just a little bit higher and I didn't want it that high. So one of the reasons that I moved the pen loop to the front was because I was putting these card pockets here. 
but the main reason was because it's never in my way if it's over here. So when I open my passport cover to use it, the pen loop over here sometimes can get in the way of writing. And if I'm not using the pen that's over here and I decide that I want to highlight, I can leave it there and I can highlight and it's not in the way. Whereas if it's over here, it's kind of in my way. So where the pen is, gets more in my way for writing. So for me personally, I have figured out when I have a single pen loop, I actually kind of prefer it on the front. It just doesn't get in the way. Whereas if the pen loop was over here, then the pen is gonna be right up against my notebooks. And so I just think it's a better placement for a single pen loop. I also had the pen loop raised, so it's supposed to be in the center. That's like their default. So I had it raised so that it was higher up. And I did that because a lot of times I clip my pens by the pen clip instead of slipping them in the pen loop. And it sits better on the pen clip if I do that. In a small pocket pen, like my Uniball 1P that's tiny, it doesn't really matter. But if I was using a full size pen with it, if I was gonna clip it by the clip, it would be sticking out the bottom. Whereas with the pen loop here, it doesn't stick out at the bottom. So it gives me more options with pens and how I can carry them and how I can use them if I put it up here. And then I can obviously put a pen in the pen loop as well. I also got the pen loop widened, I think to 12 millimeters. I'll put the details of both covers down below, but I think 12 millimeters because that fits like a mild liner and most of my pens. So then the last real customization I did was I added a D ring so I could hang a charm from the bottom of my cover and it would hang out down at the bottom. So I'm gonna put a little charm there and then I'll have a charm that hangs out from my cover at the bottom. So those were my customizations. I switched the pockets. I moved the pen loop from here to here. I moved it up. I added a D-ring, the brown tag and the gold hardware. There's no back pocket, nothing else. It's a pretty simple setup. I can keep it really slim if I want to. I can put a wallet insert if I want to. I knew I wanted to order this leather. I know that I use Passport on and off, so it's a size that I go back to all the time. So I knew I would get use out of this. And also it's a smaller size cover. So it's one of the less expensive ways to get to buy a leather that I wanted to buy. And I didn't think I wanted this leather in something really big. I wanted it in something because I just think, look at it, it's just, oh. It's so soft and it's so pretty and it's so amazing, but I didn't want it in a giant cover. So that is my Passport Nomad and my customizations. And then this is the main thing that I was ordering. I have been wanting to get this for a while. I so hope I love it. <laughs> but this is a standard. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at the texture, it's perfect. So this is a standard Nomad, not the special Nomad. In Janet leather, undyed, inside and out. And oh my goodness. Listen to the squeak. I mean, I wish, I wish you guys could smell this and look. I wanted wrinkles and I got wrinkles. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <gasps> it's gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, I'm oh, I'm just so very excited. I am oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so this is also a complete nomad, not a special nomad. So it is a traveler's notebook. It is an undyed Janet leather with the undyed stitching. I did get the A4 clasp, so the chunkier clasp. I did get two poppers. I think I lengthened the clasp. I'm pretty positive I lengthened the clasp. I didn't change the pocket configuration inside. I did add a second pen loop. I did widen both pen loops, I think to 12 millimeters. I'm pretty sure to 12 millimeters. And I did lift the pen loops. So instead of being here, like underneath the strap, they are higher for the same reason, because oftentimes I like to use the clip and not actually put my pen in there, especially with a fountain pen. I tend to just put the clip on the pen loop. And if it was in the center, like down there, some of my pens would stick off the bottom and hang too low. But this way, this way they sit perfectly. 
So for me, that works better. Um, it really depends on the cover though and what I'm using the cover for and how I'm using it. I did not move the pen loops on the Myrtle that's coming because I knew what pen was pretty much gonna always be in it and so I didn't think that I needed to. But I did widen the pen loops, I did add a second pen loop and I also moved the pen loops. Once again, I added a D ring so that I could have a charm hanging out the bottom. I have the brown interior and so I have the brown tag. I just think it looks better. I will change out these elastics probably, even though they don't really show. I will change them out. And I did get gold hardware on this because one. I think it matches better with this leather. And it is so, so beautiful and so soft. I'm so excited. All right, well, I think I remembered all of the customizations so no real reason to do a whole second video just on customizations but when i set these up and use them i'll do a video on the setup and i will go through the customizations again on there but oh my goodness i'm so excited this feels amazing i will probably spray this with apple guard just because i don't want it to get water stains it will still patina and it will still darken and all of that but just so it doesn't get water and oil stains on it probably spray it with something but i am in love and it's so soft i'm so excited oh and look it lays flat it's just absolutely stunning i'm so excited i can't stop smiling but that is my order from VDS. Those are my two new custom VDS covers, both complete nomads, one in passport and one in standard. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them down below and I will definitely get back with you. Give me a thumbs up if you like this unboxing from VDS. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos and don't forget to just scribble.